Hi, hobby friends. Let's talk about black. A genre of metal, an unpleasant medieval death, and a painting topic for mini aficionados to mull over for all time. Black is where all colour goes when the light gets low, and what paints will reach for if you get them all mixed up. Well, in this video we'll be looking at the first underpainting experiment that I can pretty accurately say was a complete failure. On its own terms, anyway. But like most failures, it produced some interesting results, and as the thumbnail teased, might just be the way I tackle some of those new Horus Heresy models if any were to come my way. Alright, enough preamble, let's get some painting done. Our first guy today gets a purple base. If you've seen any of these videos before, you know purple has become an auto-include for underpainting experiments, so no-brainer here. Number two is wearing blue today, another colour that I love for its versatility. If you haven't watched any of the other videos in this series, by the way, they're worth checking out to get an idea of what's going on here. Next man is feeling turquoise, so obligingly I align his external look with his internal feels, and then we're already on to number four, and a good lick of burgundy red for him. Oh, and a last minute barrel drill just in case some fussy people are watching too. And here he is, the obligatory shiny, a chap sporting one rather large hand. He should get that checked out by the apothecary, I think. To finish off the shiny, the usual combo of gunmetal, duraluminium, and aluminium metal colours layered up in progressively smaller highlights. And here's where we make a major detour to the usual underpainting methodology. No extra highlight colour here, I'm jumping straight to black ink, thinned out a little with flow improver since it's a semi-transparent. The idea here was to try and spray up from below and develop our black in reverse, starting with our highest highlight colour and bringing everything else down. If you feel like recreating any of these yourself, just remember to take it really slow. You'll have to build up your black ink in several layers to avoid flooding, and maybe consider leaving them off their bases and pinning instead to give you easier access to those nether regions. Mine were a troll trader purchase, so I had to do my best to get into the nooks and crannies. As I've mentioned before on the channel, I think you can pretty much highlight black with anything you like. We tend towards cool greys as mini painters because it's an effective, tried and true method that will definitely sell as black, but we shouldn't assume there is only one right answer to these questions. Or, since I mentioned that this experiment was more or less a failure, maybe we should stick to the tried and true. I don't know. When everyone is inked, I take a minute to spray on some matte varnish. At this point, I was already sort of aware that things were not reading as black, but something else was becoming apparent. When I see artwork for the Horus Heresy, I'm always struck by the increased grim darkness, emphasis on the darkness, of 40k's prequel. Now, I don't play or collect Horus Heresy, but I am partial to a bit of painting and keep an eye on those sorts of things, and it seemed to me that what was drying in front of my eyes might be a good analogue of those Legion colour pictures you see everywhere. Shame then that I'd painted very unheresy era Primaris Tallboys. While I finish up the detailing and edge highlights on these guys, a heartfelt thank you to the latest madman to financially support my plastic addiction, Jack James. Thank you, Jack. You're a star. And if you happen to want to help keep the supply of Troll Trader Marines flowing, check out the linked Patreon below, where you can nab a coveted OG crew place for the price of a half pint. Or simply hit the like and sub button and come join us over on Discord to talk all things mini wargaming. Alright, let's hit those reveals now. Mr. Purple first, and as I said, a decidedly not black result, but still pretty moody, and another approach to some particularly grim Emperor's children, perhaps. Not a bad look for a Drukhari raider, either, I'd say. Blue next, and probably the closest I got to black on this experiment. He might be a little beyond the pale for an ultramarine, but slap some lightning bolts on those shoulders, and he could be harassing innocence in no time at all. Here's the turquoise guy, and despite having the 90s boy band middle parting that is most favoured by the Raven Guard, this chap would make a pretty cool looking son of Horus. Lupercal, my green friend, Lupercal. Red up next, and as a word bearers collector, I'm always going to like scorched red. 
This guy knows the truth and he is not afraid to bolter it into your face. And last, but not least, the shiny. Ignore the blood drop on his little ecranche there, and you might be looking at an Iron Hand or Warrior, depending on your preferred ferrous flavour. I am very much digging that rough, cast iron finish on this guy. And that's your lot. Not what I was going for necessarily, but interesting results nonetheless, I'd say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.